everyone, Alexa here from the blog, thedovalhomestead.com, and today we're gonna go on a little Christmas home tour of our homestead. Christmas is one of my favorite times of year. I love the warm, hot cocoa and the cold days and the crisp, sunny days that we have. Sometimes it's wet and rainy, but I'm always kind of praying for snow around Christmas time. I just love that everyone gets together. There's always family in town. There's a lot of cooking and baking and time off and treats. And so to celebrate such a wonderful time of year, I feel like it is necessary to decorate the house and make everything really festive and welcoming. I have little Allison here in my wrap and she is about to take a nap, but still quite awake. So she is gonna be all over the place. All right, so starting in the kitchen, this is where I spend most of my time cooking and of course, eating kind of on the go, making sourdough and everything is always right here in the kitchen. So I had to decorate a little bit, but I didn't do much because we use the countertop space so much for everything that I wouldn't want to put decorations down and then have to take them off always while I'm cooking. So what I did was I just put some greenery on the windowsill. This was kind of my theme this year. I wanted to use a lot of real greenery as much as I could. <laughs> I actually had gone into this Christmas season with the plan of buying fake greens and fake Christmas flowers. I don't know if you ever make a plan for like your decor ahead of time, but I do because I plan on sharing on my blog, so I had to make a plan for it. And I totally deviated from that plan entirely and did not use any of the things I had bought, which was a lesson to me to maybe just not buy anything next year at all because I ended up only using real greenery and keeping it really simple. So I decided that the theme I wanted to go with this year, I guess, was just simple and natural. But I realized that simple is harder than it sounds. But I'll talk about that more in a bit. On the island, I just wanted to put a little centerpiece. Now, one thing I did for the kitchen that was a great idea was I did buy about five Christmas hand towels. I found this site on Amazon, different types of red hand towels. There's like a plaid and then there's a striped and then there's a white and red polka dot. And I just swapped all my kitchen towels out for those Christmas hand, hand towels. And that was a really great idea because I love drying dishes with those new towels and everything. So I kept a couple of the towels out for the regular dish drying and then I used a few of them for decor. So you'll see that more in a bit. Our local hardware store had a discount on fresh greenery. They had garland for like a $1.50 a foot or something like that. So I just bought a whole bunch of garland, cut it up and used it in various places along the house. And then they had bundles of greenery. So like various types of pine needles and things like that. And those were like $5 for a huge bundle. And I bought three of those. I'm kind of a minimalist and I'm actually becoming more of a minimalist the more that I think about being a minimalist. <laughs> I find that I think things look better when I take things away. So for example, when I was decorating the living room where the Christmas tree is, and I'll show you that room next, I actually took away so much decor. I had a lot more out there and I ended up taking it away because just because you own something doesn't mean you have to use it. That's really the lesson I learned when I was decorating my house this year was it's okay to not use something that you used last year or even not use something that you bought because sometimes things just look beautiful on their own and you don't need to add anymore. I wanna take a quick break and thank today's video sponsor, Emerging Green. Being that winter is so cold and sometimes snowy, I still like to really get outside as much as possible. I really don't like to stay inside a lot, so we will go for cold walks, cold runs, whatever we can do to get outside, and of course, around our homestead. This birdhouse I love, but I put it right here because it actually is right next to my kitchen, so I can see it right out the window, and it just gives birds a little warm place to stay. I'm really hoping that we see some good birds in here this year. Emerging is a small family business based in Singapore, and they have products for the home, for the crafts, for or exercise, a whole wide range of products. You have probably heard me talk about them before on this channel. And 70% of their materials are recycled or renewable. And they are striving towards making that 100%. They designed this birdhouse after studying birdhouses and birds over 
a long period of time. It was designed for functionality and to cater to a wide variety of native bird species. And this is something that I'm looking forward to learning more about now that we have this. It comes with all of the screws and washers for installation. It took us about 30 seconds to install it right here on our fence. They also offer some help with this birdhouse for support of learning what kind of birds we might attract to it, such as chickadee, wrens, finch, downy woodpeckers, bluebirds, tree swallows. Merging Green is very responsive and kind to their customers, and if you have any questions about the birds, they are willing to help you out as well. I think these make great Christmas gifts because it kind of provides a gift more than just for Christmas time, because if you've got birds in here all year long, you're gonna be getting to know those birds and enjoying them. I looked up some quick tips for attracting birds to bird houses and I found a few good things. So have a bird feeder and bird bath nearby. That way they will have everything that they need kind of right where you're putting the birdhouse. You can put it on a tree or a fence. Make sure you don't put it in a direction that's facing a lot of wind. And you do not need to stuff the birdhouse with any bedding or filling because they will do that themselves. I will leave a link down in this description below to where you can find this birdhouse. So the family room, this is all one great room by the way if you've never seen one of my home tours before. The kitchen, dining room, and family room are all one great room. This is a real Christmas tree. It's a noble fir and we got it from our Christmas tree farm that's just down the street and that was so fun. We went as a family and got that tree. That's a tradition that we do every year. In fact, I have a photo that I can overlay here. Now, every season I like to try to sew something for my home decor. I always overshoot my I guess expectations because I think I'm gonna sew quite a bit and then I only get one thing done, but that's fine. It's better than nothing. This year what I wanted to do was a tree skirt. So I went ahead and sewed this tree skirt. I'll be sharing the tree skirt tutorial soon, but I'm not sure if it will be done by the time this video comes out. So you can check back and I will post the link below. getting a real tree because it smells like fresh pine in your house for a solid couple of weeks and then the smell dies down a little bit but you can still smell it when you go up to the Christmas tree and I just love that. I actually made an Instagram post this morning about what I think about when I decorate the Christmas tree and I have these books that I used to read when I was a kid and they I've read them so many times that they became such a big part of my memory and you know those really sweet books that have like the fireplace and the Christmas tree and someone's baking a pie. There's like these beautiful Christmas scenes. I always think about those scenes when I'm decorating and like how can I make something really welcoming and cozy and warm. And so that is what I did. And the real Christmas tree that smells like pine really helps make that vision come to life. So on the Christmas tree I put only I think four types of decorations. I did these little white cotton ornaments that you put kind of in the tree. And then I have these glass icicles. And then I put pine cones that are um, fake snow pine cones. And then lastly, I put real candy canes. And I've always done this because whenever we have kids at our house, they always pick off a candy cane off the tree. That's a tradition that we've had as well. So I actually just stuck with those four ornaments for this home tour. Now, I will say that we have a lot of family ornaments that are special to us that we've gotten from various places or pictures or whatever. And I did put those on the tree after I filmed this video in case you're wondering why there's not that many ornaments on the tree. And it's because when I was cre creating the home tour, I thought that the natural white and the brown and the clear and then the touch of red was so beautiful that I thought it was inspiring and I thought it would inspire other people too. Um, but yes, I did put a bunch of other ornaments on afterward that don't necessarily match, but they are sentimental. For the fireplace, I have another real garland above the fireplace. This is the same one I got at the hardware store. And then I just strung these string of bells, and I got these I think last year from Michaels. If I can find them again, I'll link them below. 
and those are so nice. I love having bells in our Christmas decor. In fact, that's one of the other things other than greenery that's in our house right now. So now that you've seen this room with the lights off, I'm gonna show it to you as I turn the lights on. I put these small twinkle lights that are battery operated on the fireplace mantle garland. And then of course we turn on the fireplace and of course the Christmas tree. This is the dining room. There's not a whole lot to see here except for our little shiplap accent wall. And this is the one that I showed on the blog a while ago. Um, it's just a little accent wall that we did shiplap on and it's so beautiful for a decor. So we've got a big mirror in the center and two lights on the side. And what I did was I strung another string of bells across the mirror. And then I put a nice Santa there, which I had bought that Santa last year and a basket of greenery. I started a little pattern here at this point in my decorating where I don't know if when you start decorating you start to see patterns, you keep doing the same thing over and over and when I started realizing when I was just taking a plate and I was putting like a candle on it and then greenery and I did that in several different places and it actually looked really beautiful so I did that here and then on the dining table I did the exact same thing. And on the table you'll see I also have one of those kitchen towels again. They really made for good decor so it worked out perfectly. Moving on to the last room I'm going to show you here today, the bedroom. Now I'm going to be doing a few other videos on this room later, probably in January. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. If you follow me on Instagram, you may see that I posted about getting a king bed because we had a baby and we needed to upgrade from a queen. We're both actually really tall people and the queen, we barely fit in a queen to begin with and then when you add a baby, it just really didn't work. So we got a new king mattress, new king everything, and my husband built this bed frame for us. It's got a headboard and a footboard and it's made of wood and so I'm gonna be sharing that process with you soon. But for now for the Christmas tour we just took some garland. Now this is actually fake garland because it's the only place I didn't want to have to clean up pine needles it's because we have carpet up here and the bed and everything. Everywhere else I don't mind the pine needle mess. And then I put some real eucalyptus and I kind of just sprinkled it throughout the garland and this was just such a beautiful touch in my opinion. It looks so much better with that eucalyptus. I would love to use eucalyptus everywhere in our house for Christmas time, but I only got a little bundle this year, so this is the main place I wanted to put it. On either side of the bed, we have these gooseneck lamps, which are new. And then I went to the thrift store and I found these two pictures to go on either side of our headboard. And I was just so thrilled because I, I wanted to put something in here and we thought about putting one big picture kind of behind the bed over on the top. And I found these two from an Amish community and they were not expensive and they're originals and they're signed by the artist, which I think is so cool. And I just put them on either side and I love how the black matches the lamps. Everything just matches perfectly. I hung two stockings on either side of the bed and my husband actually bought these two red bows and he was really thrilled about them so we put them on either side of the bed as well. On our nightstands I have this vintage crock that I got with three blue stripes, another one I got from the antique store, and I just added some greenery and some eucalyptus to that as well, as well as these two vintage bells. I will be sharing the tutorial for how we did the staining on the bed behind me soon, but not by the time this video comes out again, so you can check back at the link below or just subscribe and you'll see when that video comes out. Okay, well, I think we're done here, so I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching this Christmas farmhouse home tour. I hope you enjoyed it and you got some inspiration. If you're brand new to my page, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and like on Facebook Every week I post a new farm to table recipe and homemade natural living on the blog at thedevalhomestead.com. Thank you so much for stopping by the Duval Homestead.